Hi, this is Ritesh and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Bitbucket pipeline for your AWS SAM um, Node.js application from scratch. So I'm gonna first create a repo. Uh, I'll name it uh, test pipeline. This will create a repo for me. Yeah, so it's done. Let's clone this repository in my local. I'll just copy the URL from here. Now I'll go to a folder location. Here I'll clone it. Let's first create a folder pipeline we'll go inside of it now i'll quickly create a sam application mm, for that i have to do sam in it i hope you all are aware with the sam commands now i'll quickly create a hello world project i'll select node 14 i'll name it test bucket pipeline let it clone. Yeah, it's done. If you do LS, you will be able to see your uh, project here. I'll go inside of it now do code dot to open it in my code vs code so here is a hello world starter project which has been created by aws sam so now uh, i have to set up my pipeline for this project so first i'm going to add my git url mm, okay for that i'll add it git origin add then i'll paste the url which i copied from bitbucket i think before this i have to do git in it i'll do git in it now i'll do git origin add let me copy this line Sorry, the command is wrong. Git remote then add origin in the URL. Yeah. Now I'll do git fetch to fetch my branch. Yeah, so it has fetched the master branch. I'll just sync it up by taking pull from my master. Let it complete. Yeah, it's throwing me error because of the git ignore file. Uh, so I'll remove this file from here. So we are good to go now. I'll try to sync up with a master branch. Yep. Okay, now let's push this code to that repository. Let it complete. It may ask you for your password. Go ahead with your password. I've already configured it, so it didn't ask me the password. Sorry, I didn't commit it. Sorry. To commit all the files. Now, I'll push it. Yeah. If you refresh here, you'll see your code. Yeah, now I'm going to enable my pipeline. 
so for that first you have to go to repository setting and from here you have to enable your pipeline in the pipeline setting you can find this listed here and if you go here you'll see that this is not enabled yet click on this to enable now go to configure pipeline okay after that you have to go to deployment this will create a file for you this is basically a configuration file for your bit bucket so i'll go with a starter pipeline just commit the file this will create a bit bucket yaml file for you yeah so it is created if you go to your source code you'll be able to see it this is the file which is required for your ci cd and this has been already committed to your master branch so now you can go to your code base you can take a pull from your master branch yep now you will be able to see your pipeline here so i'll explain all of this in a bit i'm going to use python image for my operation hopefully 3.8 and this is the default pipeline i'll just collapse this one i don't require it and i have my code ready for this uh, yaml file i'll quickly grab it from here I'll explain you in, in a bit what i'm doing and your indentation should be proper you should not miss any space here so here uh, the default one was already there so i'm not going to use it uh, use it uh, so i want to configure my pipeline on a branch push that means whenever i push my commit to a master branch my ci cd should run automatically and here i'm not going to show you the ci part i'm going to show you the cd part so here what i'm doing whenever i push my changes to my, to the master branch these steps are going to run and in these steps uh, these steps basically I named it as deploy to test and environment uh, I'll come on this part in a bit and here these commands are going to run whenever this event occurs whenever I push my code to this branch so here uh, I'm doing um, I'm installing curl command because this is required uh, to install node after that i'm using uh, i'm going to install cli mm, cli also that's why i'm doing this uh, two uh, two lines of code here and this following operation is required to do the initial setup and after that i am configuring my aws with a correct credential this credential i'm going to pick it up from uh, environment after that i'm going to do a sam build this is a command for that and if it's all done then I'm moving to a AWS SAM build folder because that's where my whole build sits after build completion happens after that I'm going to run this docker file which basically um, do SAM deploy to my AWS cloud so here you have to provide your necessary information such as uh, your default reason what uh, stack name you have given for your application then capability i have given for this two capability so based on your requirement you can give yours after that in which s3 bucket you want to uh, push your file uh, push your code after that the template file name so that's it this is the pipeline mm, and this is all ready i guess I'm going to show you how to um, set up your environment variable in a bit. So let's push it now. Yeah, now I'm going to push it. yeah 
it's done and now if you go to pipeline you will see your pipeline running in progress that means your pipeline is up now you can go inside to see your status let me expand this okay i think i didn't show you how to configure environment variable i'll come to that let's first see the pipeline so these are the commands that i have given in my script as i've shown you here in my script i have given this many commands so it will go step by step let's see what happens yeah this uh, it failed here because i didn't configured my uh, credentials here so let's go and set it up so for that you have to go to either go to a repository setting or deployment from either section you can do so i'm going to configure for this one okay let's go in the repo that will be good and here if you scroll you'll see a repository variables and deployment i'll go to deployment and here you can configure your AWS credential. Here you have to give mm, give your credential such as AWS reason, then API key, all that information. So that's it, guy. If you configure your environment variable, you will be all set up and you'll be able to deploy it. Uh, I'm not going to set it up right now because this will make me expose my credentials which i don't want so that's all guys thanks for watching this video and in case of any doubt or if you need any help let me know in the comment section below thank you